Hi, uh, it's really great to be with the AIA community today. Uh, I'm Ken Mogi. I'm a neuroscientist, writer, and broadcaster based in Tokyo, Japan. And I have been studying the human brain for more than 20 years now. And recently, I have written a book titled A Little Book of Ikigai, or Awakening Your Ikigai, where I discuss this really important concept of Ikigai which is, uh, roughly speaking, the purpose of in your life. And, you know, Ikigai is very important to keep uh, wellness, healthiness, and um, a really balanced state of your mind, And which I think is the mission of the AIA community, to have a healthier, longer, and better life. And here I talk about Ikigai, and I hope my talk will be of help to you in some way or another. Now, Ikigai is um, the purpose of your life, and uh, when you think about the purpose, purpose of your life, you tend to think of really long-term big goals, like uh, something you would like to achieve in your career, or something that you'd like to have in your life, like uh, big houses, uh, a lot of money, or a happy family. All these things are great in terms of Ikigai, but the importance of Ikigai is that it can be something really small, like, in, like taking a dog for a walk in the morning, or having a cup of tea in the morning, just like I'm doing right now. And um, so Ikigai is something that is really broad, and it can have uh, the small things in your life and really big objects in your life. So Ikigai is something that is diverse and inclusive, just like the mission of the AIA community. In Japan, uh, people always talk about Ikigai and uh, we, uh, in a daily conversation, uh, we casually ask, what is your Ikigai? And, uh, you know, I would probably say that running my Ikigai because I'm an amateur runner. I have uh, run in the Tokyo Marathon uh, many times and um, running is my Ikigai. But at the same time, uh, studying the human brain is my Ikigai too. And, you know, it's a big goal in my life. But, you know, as I said, uh, you can start from the very small things in your life and gradually build up to achieve your really great goal in your life. Uh, so the five pillars of Ikigai are starting small, releasing yourself, harmony and sustainability, the joy of the two things, and being in the here and now. Starting small, uh, well, it can be something as small as taking your dog uh, for a walk in the morning or having a cup of coffee. Releasing yourself is very important because many, too many people are too restrained when they speak about their feelings and their opinions. So releasing yourself and being honest uh, to your true self is very important in achieving Ikigai. Harmony and sustainability. Uh, this is very important because, you know, after all, we are living in a diverse world. And uh, if you can just be friendly with your uh, close, to, close ones or loved ones, uh, that would be a really great way of achieving harmony and that would make your life more sustainable. The joy of the two things. Well, in my case, I really listen to, um, love to listen to my favorite music and uh, just you know, a few minutes of listening to your favorite music can give you Ikigai. And being in the here and now. Now, this is very important because uh, too many people are stressed out because they are worried about too many things. But if you know how to be in the here and now, uh, you know, by being a, like a child again, uh, you know, because when you're a child, you were always in the here and now when you prayed and when you learned and that is a really great way to kickstart your ikigai so no matter wh what you might be worried uh you know in your daily life if you know how to dissociate yourself with these things and uh, be in the here and now then you can you know get 
a really wonderful feeling of your ikigai. So these are the five pillars, and these are really easy to do. Uh, you know, it's not such a big deal. Um, you know, it can it, it is something that you can practice in your daily life, and if you practice these five pillars of ikigai, then you can really make your life uh, healthy and balanced and happy. I have been working on a new book titled The Way of Nagomi. And um, Nagomi is a really interesting and beautiful Japanese concept. It uh, refers to the harmony and balance in your life. And uh, by achieving Nagomi, uh, you can uh, keep your wellness and uh, happiness and balance of your mind in a beautiful way. And here, it is very important that uh, from time to time in your life, you come across something that is uh, negative, that is undesirable. And uh, the beauty of the philosophy of Nagomi is that you can achieve uh, Nagomi even with your uh, negative feelings. For example, uh, you might have some personal traits that you would like to mend. Like in my case, I have a, I tend to have a very short attention span and I tend to move around and, you know, uh, I'm not really, uh, you know, subdued personality. I am restless and I have been like this ever since my childhood, but uh, I cannot fix that because that's the way I am. So in my life, I have always tried to achieve Nagomi with my own shortcomings because uh, you cannot really change what you are. Uh, you really need to accept uh, how you were born, including your genetic makeups and your cultural backgrounds and so on, and try to strike a harmony or balance, if you like, with that trait. That is actually the only way to achieve wellness. And in Japan, actually, we have a really wonderful um, ancient technique of kintsugi. Maybe you've heard about it. So here's a cup, and sometimes it can be broken. And uh, in Japan, traditionally, when a cup or bowl is broken, you don't throw it away. Uh, you apply the technique of kintsugi to mend the pieces and make it whole again. Uh, this technique has been applied uh, over many, many years. And in one really famous example, they have made a whole bowl out of 53 different pieces from 53 different cups. Can you imagine it? It's called uh, 53 uh, pieces uh, put together. And um, it's a really beautiful uh, example of Nagomi because it shows that uh, even if something bad happens in your life, something that is really, um, you know, uh, trying and something that uh, would uh, put you out of your control and balance, you can always mend it by applying this technique of kintsugi. And, you know, in the world where we, you know, exchange our ideas in, and information all over the world, the spirit of Nagomi is becoming very, very important to achieve harmony and balance, even when something goes wrong. Because uh, in the modern world, we are bombarded with many different information. And sometimes we disagree. And, you know, sometimes we encounter people who might actually disturb us. But even in these cases, it'll be great if we can keep this speed of Nagomi, because, you know, in that way, we can live together, uh, respecting each other's uh, particular personalities and respecting diversity in an inclusive way. And I regard this as a particularly wonderful wisdom coming from uh, the country that I live, Japan. Always try to keep harmony and balance within yourself and in the society, no matter what happens. This, I think, is a great philosophy of sustainability and wellness. 
And I do hope that uh, the AI community uh, would uh, keep going on with a good job of achieving a better, healthier, and longer life. And uh, I think uh, in doing that, uh, this ancient philosophy of Nagomi coming from Japan would be of much help to you. And the importance of Ikigai is that you can start small. So after this session, please think about something that you can start today. A very small thing that can give you joy. Uh, for example, if you haven't exercised recently, why don't you run for 500 meters? Uh, that will be enough to start. Or uh, if you have been selfish uh, recently, why don't you be kind to your neighbor? Uh, that would give you and your brain uh, much pleasure to start your Ikigai. And um, uh, at the same time, I hope you keep Nagomi at all costs with the, all the wonderful and diverse people that you find around you. So I have been talking about Ikigai and Nagomi and uh, I hope to see you in person someday. Thank you.